To understand how your radon mitigation system works, we first need to understand how does radon enter a home. So radon comes from the ground and it finds its way into a home through any kind of cracks, any openings, uh, just any easy way uh, out of the ground. So, you know, before you have a home here, it's just making its way up into the atmosphere. But then we dig down into the ground and now we have an easier route for that radon to come out. Uh, so uh, digging the foundation for a basement, for a crawl space, even for a slab, all those different foundation types uh, can allow radon into a home and to seep through any of those, again, those cracks, those openings. So for a radon mitigation system, what we do is we try to pull that air out from beneath the home before it has a chance to mix with the air that you breathe. So uh, it's done in different ways depending on the foundation. So for a slab, uh, typically what we do is we would pull uh, air from underneath that slab where you're, most times you're gonna have uh, a layer of concrete and then there's gravel underneath that. So we make like a little bit of a pit underneath the uh, slab uh, by taking a shot vac to, to suck out a bunch of that gravel. And then that gives the radon an easier place to get to uh, than the rest of the slab. And then we put our pipe down there and pull that air out. For a crawl space, we would seal that with a plastic, what's known as a vapor barrier. So we lay that out across the crawl space and then we put a perforated pipe, so a pipe with holes in it, underneath that vapor barrier. And then we route that to the outside and that pulls all the air from underneath our vapor barrier to collect air from the crawl space um, into the outside atmosphere. For a basement such as what we're in today, uh, what we have a lot of times, and especially in our newer type houses, is a uh, sump crock. And what that does, and it's a water management system that has a, what's called drain tile. So again, another pipe that's got holes in it that goes around the perimeter of the foundation, and that collects water and brings it all to our sump crock. Well, we use that same system, but for pulling air. So what we do is we put a cover over the sump opening, and so that prevents any of that, uh, that air from underneath the ground coming up through that opening. And then we'll put suction with a PVC pipe that goes into that drain tile, pulls the air, and takes it to the outside. Um, so some houses uh, don't have a drain tile system. For those, what we do is uh, kind of like we do on a slab, but we would just core through the concrete, and we would uh, suck out a bunch of the, whether it's gravel, if it's dirt, whatever it may be down there and make a big pit. And then we pull suction from that. And again, the intent is to give radon that easy place to go to and then pull it out uh, before, again, it gets into the air that you breathe. So that's just a quick rundown of, it, of how a system works. Um,